Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. I am Sendam Larasi, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Welcome to my uh, presentation on malware analysis. So today we are going to see the topic under the malware analysis, introduction to malware and OS security concepts. So first we will see about introduction to malware. What is meant by malware? Malware is a term derived from the combination of malicious and software. So mal is a word coming from the word malware and ware is a term come from the word software. So malware is a term derived from the combination of malicious and software. So it refers to any software or code specifically designed to harm or exploit or infiltrate computer systems and networks without the user's knowledge consent. So here the specifically it is intended to cause damage or exploit any device, network or service. So it is a harmful ware which will harmful the system. So many types of malware threats are there like viruses, worms, adware, spyware, trojan viruses and ransomware or few types of malware threats. So what is meant by malware? Malware is a malicious software that damages and destroys computer system, servers, host system or network. So by studying this malware analysis, we having many roles in IT companies paying uh, much amount like malware analyst, malware engineer, reverse engineer and malware research. So now what is meant by malware we studied in our previous slides. Now we will go to study what is meant by malware analysis. So malware analysis is a process of detecting and reducing all the potential threats in our website, application or server. So first we are detecting and reducing our potential threats. Threat is nothing but the attack. Okay, whatever the attack happening in our website, application or server, we are going to analyze that. So that is called malware analysis. So it addresses all the vulnerabilities before they get out of hand. What is meant by vulnerabilities? It is a, some flaws in set of codes. So we having some set of software where we'll be having some script uh, which will be having some flaws which will harmful the system. So it addresses. So malware analysis addresses the vulnerabilities before they get out of hand. So next it will ensure the computer security and security of the organization with regard to sensitive information. So what are the goals of malware analysis? To evaluate the damage of malware by understanding its functionalities. By having this malware in our system, what it will be doing? What is the functionality it is going to happen? So that we are going to understand and then we are going to evaluate the damage of malware. That is one of the goal of malware analysis. Next, we are going to determine what is a compromised system by studying its spreading techniques. By having this malware in our uh, software, in our system, how it is uh, going to spread that we are going to determine. Next, we are going to identify the sophistication level of the malware. Next, we are going to identify who is the creator of the malware. So these are some few goals of the malware analysis. Lastly, we are going to determine, that is we are going to find the vulnerabilities in our network and system and use them to harden our environment, okay, giving more security. If we are analyzing the malware before itself, we can uh, give more security to our system, okay. To create the list of signature, signature here which represents the pattern. Next IOC which is nothing but indirection of compromise to harden our environment. So this indirection of compromise can be of malware based signature that is malware based pattern or host based signature that is host based pattern and network based signature that is network based pattern. So here malware based signature in the sense uh, our uh, exe files. 
So, host of executables, host of files which is created, that is some exe files which will be having uh, some malware in that, okay. So, that type will be coming under what now, malware based signature. So, next is host based signature, so which uh, uh, like uh, it will be changing the registry keys by creating the malicious files, okay. So, that will come under host based signature. So, lastly we will be having like network based signature. So, our URL by clicking some URL, by clicking some IP address, some malware gets uh, affected in our system, okay. So, that type will be coming in that what now, network based signature. So, these are some few uh, indirection of compromises. Till this we have studied about the introduction to malware, okay. So, now the next topic under this is operating system security we are going to see. So, operating system security. So, here what we are doing now, it is a process of ensuring the operating system availability, confidentiality, integrity which is known as the operating system security. So, here what availability means? Availability means nothing but the probability of the system which is operational at given time. Next, what is meant by confidentiality? Confidentiality in our computer system which refers to the protection of some sensitive and protected data from the harmful intruders. Next, the integrity. Integrity in the operating system which refers to the ability of the operating system to protect itself against the unauthorized access. So, here or OS security which refers to the process or measures taken to protect the operating system from dangers including the viruses, worms, uh, malware and remote hacker intrusions. So, lastly here operating system security also compromises all preventive control procedures that protect any system assets that could be stolen, modified or deleted if OAS security is breached. Breached is nothing but what an act of breaking, breaking the security, okay. So, the OS security which is nothing but what? It ensures the OS availability, confidentiality and the integrity. So, here the system security which can be uh, threatened, okay, which can be attacked by two violations like we are giving the terms like threat and then attack. Probably which means the same but here the threat that is the program which has the potential to harm the system. So, next the attack. So, attack is nothing but the breach of security. As I said before, breach is nothing but what the act of breaking. So, the breach of security that allows the unauthorized access to resources. So, we having a authorized person only need to access the resource, but unauthorized person also will be accessing the resource. Na? That type of term will be coming under what na? attack. So, here the attack, there are two types of security breach, breaches that will harm our system. One is malicious and another one is accidental. So, what is meant by this malicious? So, it is a type of destructive computer code or web script that is designed to cause vulnerabilities, some flaws in the code that leads to security breaches, that leads to security act of breaking that security. So, that type of thing will be coming under malicious. So, it is like what na? the computer code which will be giving a destruction or which will destroy our computer, okay. So, that type of code will come under what na? that harmful, harmful code will come under what na? our malicious. So, next is what na? accidental. So, accidental it is nothing but what na? it is comparatively it is easy to protect, okay. So, all those two things will be coming under. So, next is the types of breaches. So, types of breaches uh, we having like uh, breach of integrity. Breach of integrity is nothing but what now and the unauthorized data modification, okay. So, data modification is done uh, unauthorizedly. So, that type will be coming under what now breach of integrity. So, next is theft of service. Theft of service is nothing but what na? Unauthorized use of resources. So, unauthorized use of resources will be coming under theft of service. Third one is what na? Breach of confidentiality. That is the unauthorized reading of data. Unauthorized person will be reading the data. Okay, that type will be coming under what na? Breach of confidentiality. So, next breach of availability. 
so unauthorized person will be distracting our data so that type will be come in what na breach of availability so last one is what na denial of service denial of service is what preventing the legitimate use of the system legitimate na some legal uh, will be there okay so we need to prevent that okay so that will be coming under what na denial of service that uh, so these are some few types of what na breaches so we saw what is meant by os security system uh, and uh, we see also this uh, breaches that is act of uh, breaking uh, the system so next the types okay now we are going to see about the goals of security system so what are the goals of security system now we having certain few goals like integrity secrecy and then availability so integrity which means unauthorized user must not be allowed to access the system to modify some critical files and resources and then secrecy secrecy by the word uh, we have we know that uh, some secret we are maintaining right so we are maintaining some uh, file in our secret so that type of uh, system file should not be accessible to everyone okay uh, no unauthorized person should not access our file okay so that secrecy should be maintained in part of a security system so lastly availability so availability in the sense what na uh, system resources must be accessible to all the authorized users not to the unauthorized users to the all authorized user so these are some few goals of security system like integrity secrecy availability so we saw in this video the introduction to malware uh, next we saw os security concepts okay thank you for watching this video